good evening everyone uh, this is the second last chapter okay in the power plant engineering uh, this is lecture number 34 which we will take on steam turbines okay the compressor we have finished already and the, we have started now from the today onwards that is in the today's lecture itself i will take a long class but i will try to finish this steam turbine okay see the questions asked in this the main questions asked from the britain cycle and uh, britain cycle and rankine cycle right Britain cycle is for <clears throat> gas turbine and Rankine cycle is for steam turbine. That is the main you have to concern. But see, as this syllabus is included in this also, so there may be chances of question coming from this also. Okay, we will see. So we need to study this. That is a steam turbine. Okay, in, and in the net, next class we will see the jet propulsion. Okay, which is for the I think it is a ESC syllabus. But we will see even though that thing also. Those who are interested. To know about keen to interest to know about the, what the jet propulsion is they can study that right <clears throat> so, so see in the steam turbine is it is what the related to the Rankine cycle right so before starting the lecture I request you guys please subscribe the channel hit the like button and share with your friends okay so that the channel will grow if you support me like this okay means it's a uh, your support is mandatory to grow this channel. Yes. Now the steam turbine. See, the steam turbine is <clears throat> okay. See, first we will see the Rankine cycle. In the Rankine cycle is based on the steam turbine, right? Uh, the layout of layout of Rankine cycle. Rankine cycle. See uh, here. It is a turbine, right? From the turbine, the pump is here. Okay, this is what the pump. Okay, and the condenser here. It is a condenser which is like this, right? And it, here it is a boiler. Okay, and this coil is passed through this boiler, right? So the water is passed like this, and it it then it enters to the this turbine and we will get the work out from this turbine that is the work of turbine okay this is what the turbine which under study now see here in the turbine what happens uh, the pressure <coughs> increases right and uh, see at point 3 we get right let me write down the boiler first this is a boiler okay this is a pump pump okay from see this is from 1 to 2 here from 2 to 3 processes in boiler and 3 to 4 is in turbine right this is what the turbine steam turbine okay this is the fourth point and this is the condenser right this is the condenser this is how the layout looks like right so now our focus of the study all will be on this okay this is what in the steam turbine we will study in detail the analysis of this Rankine cycle we have done in our earlier classes right so please watch all in the previous lectures okay now we will see the Rankine cycle okay I forgot to show the arrow arrow is very important right so it indicates how the flow is going on Right. See, if I apply the steady flow energy equation for all this, then how it comes here? Steady flow energy equation. Right. From one to two, it is a pump. Right. So the work by pump, which is equal to that is H two minus H one. Right. Or it is a VDP, which is a open flow device. Right. So it's a VDP. It's not PDP. Right. And two to three is the heat supplied QS is equal to H3 minus H2, right? 3 to 4, 3 to 4, uh, see, the heat supplied is in boiler, right? The, here it is a boiler. And 3 to 4 is turbine, right? Turbine. In the turbine, the work, we are getting the work from the turbine, that is H3 minus H4. And 4 to 1, this is how the cycle will complete, right? Here it is a Q rejected, right? It is in condenser, 
right qr which is equal to h4 minus h1 right this is what the pump this is how we are getting the work and heat supplied right you understood now see in this chapter we will study this thing right this is the turbine okay this is what our focus in this topic <coughs> now see let me write down it first once again that is a work done by turbine right that is a turbine work put in getting wt which is equal to s3 minus h4 right this is what the work of the turbine okay see here <coughs> Uh, initially there are steam engines also right but the steam engines are not that much efficient right they are see uh, we will see the comparison between steam engine and steam engine see the first gem, uh, James White sir James White has created this steam engine right steam engine and a steam turbine steam turbine right steam engine and steam turbine these see the steam engines are too much bulky right and the other disadvantage is power developed is also very low power developed is low right and it has less steam handling capacity steam handling capacity right so from the steam engine instead of that we will go for this steam engine which is not that much bulky right it is a very complex part right whatever the disadvantage of this are covered by the steam turbine right so whatever the disadvantage is see less around very high steam handling capacity also power development is very high in case of steam turbine right and these are the axial machines right so steam turbines are axial flow machines let me go to the next just minute steam turbines these are the axial flow machines right axial flow we have seen the axial flow compressor right so this is the axial flow machines which are just opposite to the axial flow compressor opposite to the let me write down it just opposite to just opposite of axial flow compressor right these are just opposite to the axial flow compressors okay see the steam uh, steam uh, the compressors are convergent section then if this is what the compressor flow okay the turbines are exactly opposite to this means it's look like this okay this is how the expansion takes see here compression takes place while density increases right that's why the specifically also increases right so uh, in all as we moving in the compressor the volume gets increasing so we need to make it convergent passage right similarly in the turbine the work is extracted right so in the turbine it is a convergent looks like a convergent portion right okay now now see we have seen this work done right now see what the Euler energy equation is see here Euler's Euler's energy equation is that is power P is equal to m dot right m dot V W two U two minus V W one U one. Okay, and this is what for the compressor. And exactly reverse in case of turbine, right? So how I can write the power in this? That is m dot. Right, V W one U one minus V W two U two. This is for turbines. Okay. 
how the power equation comes so the p i can write like this that is m dot what this component is it's showing the three component that is v2 square minus v1 squares now it is a reverse right let me uh, let, i'll undo this v1 square minus v2 square right divided by 2 plus u1 square minus u2 square right divided by 2 and plus vr2 square minus vr1 square divided by 2 okay this is what the Euler's governing equation in case of the turbine right see here the thing happens here okay the enthalpy from the enthalpy we are getting work right in the steam turbine okay which is axial flow machine right rotating machine and that governs by this Euler power equations okay uh, and this is what the reaction effect reaction effect and this is what the impulse effect impulse effect right so you know in case of the axial flow compressor axial flow the uh, compressor and that is being fused turbine right so that in that case both cases it may be turbine or compressor the u1 right if it is axial flow then u1 is equal to u2 is equal to u right so the power equation deduced like this here that is m dot v1 square minus v2 square divided by 2 plus see the u term goes to 0 right i can write here u1 square minus u2 square which goes to 0 right divided by 2 plus that is vr now 2 square minus vr1 square divided by 2 see from this this term will goes to 0 right so finally the power equation i will get right it is m dot v1 square minus v2 square divided by 2 plus the vr2 square minus vr1 square divided by 2 okay and this is what the impulse effect impulse turbine and this is the reaction turbine right this is impulse turbine and this is a reaction turbine reaction turbine okay now please take the definition of this that is what the, the steam turbine is see steam turbine see it is the prime mover that extracts energy from it is a prime mover it is a prime mover it is a prime mover that extracts energy from that extract energy from high temperature high pressure right high temperature high pressure steam and converts converts it into mechanical work mechanical mechanical work converts into mechanical work to be provided to the generator which to be provided to the generator to the generator that is alternator right alternator to produce 
electricity right okay so see <clears throat> Uh, in the impulse if if i talk about the impulse turbine then means impulse steam turbine okay impulse turbine let me see whether my video is working or not yes the recording is going on no problem okay see in the impulse turbine the p is equal to what the power is that is m dot right v1 square minus v2 square divided by 2 only this will come bro right other the related component will be 0 right means the energy extracted in the moving blade is absent in case of this impulse turbine right so here because see the other term that is vr2 and vr1 is equal right if it is a impulse right And here, if it is equal, then area. If it is, these are the equal, then area of cross section. Area of cross section should be constant. Okay, area of the cross section should be constant. Now. See how it is constant. I will show you here. See, these are the moving blades, right? In the moving blade, the blade looks like this. Okay, see here. This is how the blade looks like, and the area is constant here. How that area looks? See the flow area here, it is constant here, also the same inlet, right? Here, also it is same. So the flow will take from here like this, right? And also at the center, center line, these blades are symmetrical blades, right? Blades are symmetrical in case of impulse turbine. And V2, uh, the V1, see V1 and V2, if you compare the V1 and V2, right? V2, V1 is greater, right? Than V2. Right. and area of the cross section between the blades are constant okay now see this is what the moving blade right the mb which is moving blade right see i will take the uh, nozzle also see before the moving blade the nozzle we have to fit how the nozzle look like see the nozzle will be looks like this see here this is how the nozzles will be looks like right these are convergent structures see the area here and the nozzle will get reduced right so this is how the air enters with high velocity means the v1 is very high compared to this v2 right v2 velocity drops and pressure will increase uh, this increase in pressure energy will get converted into rotation of the blades right this is what the single stage turbine and this single stage right single stage means the nozzle plus this see the nozzle is a uh, uh, the fixed blade, right? I can see it as the fixed, okay, fixed blade. It, this is not the nozzle, and this is a moving blade. And the both this and this both will call it as a one stage, okay. Means one fixed blade and one moving blade. We will call it at one stage. Like similarly, there are number of stages, okay, in the turbine, okay. And this is what the simple D level turbine. This is it is a single stage. This is a simple D level turbine right this is simple d level turbine okay see at the entrance of the this nozzle inlet the velocity is very less okay and this get converted we will see this uh, play pressure diagram okay see how it looks like if i draw a pressure diagram for this let me take this down see here here yes i have to keep this okay while drawing pressure diagram see in the there is a gap okay here here there is a gap okay yeah and this is what the inlet of the nozzle and this is a moving blade right the pressure coming that is p3 here right which drops down like this in the nozzle pressure will drop velocity increases right and further later the velocity at the exit remains at p4 this is what the p exit that is p4 
okay the here the blades are moving in this direction right this is all the velocity now we will see the velocity variation of this the velocity variation see the velocity variation is see the at very less velocity the right at around velocity is equal to 5 meter per second it will enters right almost zero or 5 meter per second suddenly in the nozzle the velocity increases right again it drops like this okay and this is what the v exit okay which is around 100 meter per second or more than this at the exit v exit right <coughs> okay you understood what up till now i have discussed about this okay guys there are many other terms okay and that is pressure compounding velocity compounding okay these are not that if you have interest okay then the pressure compounding right pressure compounding also the velocity compounding velocity compounding right you can search or again you can read from the books okay pikinag is the best book for this pikinag okay for power plant engineering power plant engineering you please go through this power plant engineering and you read from that what the pressure compounding how the velocity variation comes then everything there to explain in a well manner okay because I am not that much perfect in this so that I will to to able uh, to teach you I am not that much able okay so with this we'll stop for the today's class right and <clears throat> the velocity diagram also you, sh you see the here also there is a velocity diagram similar like how we have studied in the compressor right please watch this in the when in the next batch okay this is what the first batch going on in when i'll come up with the next batch i will give you in detail of this okay i will study much better okay i will search the books and i will try to explain okay guys then with this we have completed this steam turbine uh, uh, tomorrow in the tomorrow's class what we will see tomorrow will be the last class on this power plant engineering once we complete this tomorrow's lecture will be on jet propulsion that's also in short we will see okay i think in the gate it will not ask also right the ac point of view it is important mm. okay so we will see the tomorrow about that uh, jet propulsion in short okay in 10 to 15 minutes i will take a video and I will explain in detail, not in detail, but just if the question comes in the theoretical questions, chances of the theoretical questions coming on that is more. That's why we will see that also. Okay. And with this, I will finish the today's lecture. Please, those who are not subscribed channel, I request them to subscribe hit the like button share with your friends okay everybody will get benefit from these classes which are free i am delivering you and <clears throat> you have any doubts you put in a comment and once i read the comment i will reply or i will try to resolve your doubts after reading that okay this is what all about now will i will finish the lecture from the today's lecture okay have a nice day thanks for watching bye and take care